Hello YouTube, Obi here, over here, and welcome back to more Pavlov, Shaq VR, I'm sorry, I'm messing up my intro because basically I'm stuck with the old one I've had for a long time, but we have changed the channel, so I have got to get used to that, why am I not getting used to my new, my new stuff, like, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm okay with it, oh my god, I forgot to put a bullet in, oh god, help me soldier, don't tell me he died. Oh, he died. Oh, he had a shotgun. That's stupid. Um. I think that's gonna blow up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did. Also, by the way, we are doing. We did Germans last time. We are now doing British. So. I. Yeah! Die, you bloody dogs! <laughs> I'm trying to. Sp I can't even do an accent, but. But die! You bloody pieces of crap! You piss head. Die, Nazis! Die! Bloody walk them! <laughs> Alright, I wait, I thought oh, I stabbed him! It went right through his face. I stabbed him in the face. What gives? And by the way, I'm using the Lee Enfield, guys, if you're curious. Which, it's an amazing rifle, I must say. No! <gasps> He's got a shotgun, too. What are they shooting at? Oh. Oh my god, I thought that was a drop. <gasps> Why did he not die? Right in the leg, I believe. Ah! What the hell? Sorry for cursing, but Jesus. Ooh! Give me. Drop the knife. Frick the knife. Boom! Got him. I want all these rockets as possible. Got him. Six rockets. Oh, I got shot all the way from over there. Dang it. Oof. I am risking it here for the biscuits. Fire, you idiot! Someone. Missed. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Oh, there's one right there. Oh. That explains it. Where's he at? I don't see him. Oh! Ah, dang it, missed! Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, what the heck? I fired my gun and I died. It's like kind of like one of those things where that backfire on you. Oh, Oh, look at that. Juicy. Now, where am I getting shot from?
That's some more delicious cranberry juice on the front end. Dang it! I do want to see if I can just shoot them in the head. Oh, yes, if, I, if anyone is curious, if I was using this in the last episode, yes, I was using the British Webley revolver instead of the Luger pistol. Uh, just don't ask why I was doing that, though. Wait, oh my god. I do not want to lose that revolver. There you go. Ooh! British rocket launcher. Nice. Oh my god! Why did I not kill him? I am so pissed about that. Also, why the heck do they have this option as the knife? Like, this is like this is like se this se this is like when they attacked us back then when when the U.S. attacked by the bridge. Oh my God! Oh hell! I got bloody shot. me pills. I want pills. I have no idea what these are. Give me a stun gun. Give me a stun gun. Okay, this gun is so hard to control because of its ac of its accuracy and, and like, oh, like, like not like I'm about to, I was about to say plagiarism, it's not plagiarism, it's more likely a uh, No! I was gonna pull up my rifle off my back, but I went through my chest and I, and I got shot by a machine gunner. Or a heavy gunner is what they're referring to sometimes. Where the hell? Where'd he go? I killed him. Yay. Uh. Hate going out. Ah! No, 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 dang it. The revolver is too close to my side. I love this gun though. It's 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 it, it it does. I think the only thing that's bad about this gun is its tendency to jam and its cheap manufacturing design, which was ten ten dollars I think back then, which was a lot of which was a lot of money for a gun. But nowadays they just, I think this goes for like a hundred something in today's money. I don't really know. Oh my god, I hit him in the head. Oh my god. Holy crap, there's a lot of them back here. Ow. Got him. The knife? Like, why do I need the knife? Ah! Oh, shotgun slinger. Oh, dang it! Die! I think I just beat him up and then he died. Where did I get shot from? Got him! Oh, he's using the, uh, uh MP40. It was like a guy and he got cornered until I came out, came around and stabbed him. Here we go. Ah! Die! <sighs> At least I, I did get a couple with the bayonet though. That's nice. Okay, ow. Got him. I'm getting a lot of kills this episode. Die! They're like, like, I like how I fire if I miss, they, they like just come after me. Ow. Well, damn it. At least it lets you keep the weapon that you have on you at least. Drop that. 
Got a couple. I gotta keep this up quickly. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna get close to me now. Damn it! What? Frick you! Bastard. You know, if we were playing with real people, I would let loose on the cursing. Like, really high. Like... There's a guy back here, I know it. I saw one. No, I guess I was just better. Can I imagine? Now! These rifles, these snipers are quick. Well, not, well, not, like, one has a scope on the rifle, it's classed as a sniper. Just like in real life. Does he not see me? Moron! Idiot! Screw you, heavy gunner! Again, I fired a gun. Died! Once again, what do you know? Two minutes, wow, that's going by quick. But it's fun. Like, this is actually pretty accurate to real life timing. So, like, with recording wise, it's actually kind of fun. But it's always fun to do this. Like, it's, it really is fun. Ouch! So it means it's just 10 minutes of me recording. But I could just play around with our stuff, though, too. I do like uh, trying. I don't really can't do. I can't really do thumbnails, even though I would love to do thumbnails. That would be like a swing game, like a like a greatest thing ever. Got him. Wait a minute. Oh, they both have the same guns. I guess for the AI, unlike me, where I sometimes would choose to use a German weapon if I wanted to. Like where you have to actually like you don't actually have to use the weapon, but they kind of can. Like on here, I, I don't I don't have to use the Thompson, even though it is optional for me. How do they dodge that? What the hell? Nazi die! Got two of them. Got another one. There goes the music. Which means that it's soon gonna be probably game over or win. Ah, dang it! Long live the British Army! I can't even, I can't even know how you say I don't even know what they would say for their, for their country. Strike! Strike Great Britain! I killed him, I just decided to shoot him after he died. Nice try, dude. He died. My blood. God dang it! I was gonna line up my sights to shoot him. Just like the British Army in real life, we won. Don't ask why I'm floating. <laughs> yeah, that's funny how you just fly. Why am I flying? Like, look at this. You just go up to heaven. That is hilarious. <sighs> we got we got we got some time to kill. So why don't we head over to the training yard, huh? Let's go test out that gun. Honestly, oh, I'm a, an American. But you know, it's actually the first time it's ever let me do that. Okay, so the Lee Enfield, where's it at? It's right. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, so this thing can hold ten rounds, but it's close to it. Hold on, let me try. Okay, yeah. It is classed as a 10 round clipper, which, honestly, hold on, let me see how this works. So that's how it, look, where's the other round go? Where's it? I'm curious how this works. 
because like I'm I'm just curious how the British like made this design to hold ten rounds, a ten round bolt action rifle. Never seen one, and I can't believe the British actually made one. That's kind of cool. Plus, I like the design. I thought at first it was Russian, but apparently it was British, because it held this thing. Which the Russians also have another model rifle, which is this bolt action rifle, but it holds this one, which is longer, and is bigger. But this like why do the Russian and British use these ones? They actually don't anymore because they actually use um. Something similar to this, or to, like, hold on, like, this, or like, actually, I think it was this was the M16. Yeah, this bayonet's longer, since, because this was for the shotgun, but this was like, a, this was really long back then. I'm surprised the shotgun even used this. Hold on, let me try something here. Oh, it just lugs, that's why it's so small, because it lugs on the front like that. Oh. That made sense, but it's, like, really cool, because, like, I love how you can, like, Load up an extra shell, but you can like slam fire this thing. Like that's kind of cool. It's like a semi-auto shotgun, you know. Instead of having to pump it every time, like a like you can kind of make it go automatic, but it's more likely semi-auto because you have to hold down a trigger. I think we were close to um making a uh, automatic shotgun for World War Two or World War One, because like you just had to like you know like slam fire the thing but like i can the one thing i'll say is that the recoil is insane when you're doing it Let me try it again no, try it. slam fire can I, can I actually, yeah i can load an extra shell right slam fire time if you're fast enough i believe you can do it like here i'm gonna see if it's possible let's, let's slam drive this in Oh. Okay, so I can kind of do it automatic, but I have to be like fast in order to do it. That's weird. <sighs> but anyways, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it for this episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. See you guys next time.